You guys remember the Avengers game? Yeah, you guys remember the Avengers game. If you don't remember the Avengers game, I'm honestly happy for you. Can we please trade places on God? It's no secret, this game was absolutely ass. Hot dog buns dipped in hot dog water. An Avengers game being this bad after Avengers Endgame? Oh my god, you guys dropped the ball. Holy shit. I could have made a better Avengers game, bro. What the fuck were y'all doing? But we aren't even here to talk about that game. See, the failure of this game completely overshadowed another game that came out only a year later. The Guardians of the Galaxy game. Now, I'm willing to bet that half of the people watching this right now haven't even heard of this game. The marketing for this game was borderline non-existent. I don't even remember seeing a single commercial for this game. No streamers were playing it, no YouTubers were talking about it, fucking nothing. This game just flew under everybody's radar and the people that knew about it avoided it like the Black Plague. People were afraid it would be similar in quality to the Avengers game when really it was closer in quality to the Insomniac Spider-Man games. Yeah. It's pretty good. The Avengers story was so scrambled and so convoluted that shit made no sense. But the Guardian story was a linear cinematic story. Kind of like the new God of War games. And the quality of the cinematics, that shit matched up to the comparison as well. I felt like I was watching a movie at some points in the game, bro. This works especially well for a Guardians game. Because Guardians is known for its kind of silly dialogue and crazy visuals. Since they're always on some random ass planet. This game delivers on all of that. But not only that, there's moments in the story where you can make certain decisions. The decisions you make legitimately impact the story of the game and other characters decisions and dialogue later you can choose to be nice to your teammates or a straight up dickhead and they will interact with you differently based on how you treat them the game has a super cozy vibe to it like you can definitely get immersed in this game i love when a story game has a headquarters or a little home base type of place what can i say bro i just like cooling at the bando in this game the guardian ship is the hub spot in between missions and the ship is big as hell by the way this shit is an apartment bro this ain't no ship this is a fucking complex walking in the ship feels like walking into a whole ass neighborhood bro this shit giant you can explore the whole ship everybody has their own room that you can go in and find little easter eggs and interactions i mean they nailed the aesthetic bro the game actually has a soul bro it's got a vibe and things of that nature this is what i felt like was lacking in the avengers game bro that shit was a barren desert there was no soul there was fucking nothing god that game was so ass of course the soundtrack to this game is fucking nuts star lord is always bumping that throwback playlist but of course we got to talk about the main show that sweet sweet gameplay the gameplay loop in this game is super simple yet super satisfying you play as star lord you got his twin pistols you can fly around with his jet boots all of that shit but the combat really opens up with the other guardians as star lord you command the other guardians they each have a bunch of different moves and a bunch of them synergize and combo together so the gameplay loop between shooting some enemies using Groot to tie them all down then having rocket bomb them all having gamora focus on one of the more health spongy enemies i mean there's a lot you can do bro i do wish they made it so you could play as any of the guardians i wish they all had a different skill tree so you could kind of level them all up individually. That's the one thing they should have took from the Avengers game and done better. But I ain't mad at this gameplay at all. Sure, at times it can feel a little bit repetitive, but there's still a lot of ways to mix it up. And I had fun until the very end of the game. There's even a level where you get to fly the ship, and that shit was so much fun, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The game underperformed at launch, but sales started kicking up a bit after it was already out. I mean, shit, if this game wasn't on the Game Pass two years ago, I would have never known about it either. If you fuck with the Guardians movies at all, do yourself a favor and play this shit. This shit's probably at least half off. You could probably get it for free, bro. What am I talking about? If you do play, let me know how you felt about it in the comments. Or if you already played it, let me know what you thought about it. Comment some more underrated games that y'all would like me to talk about, as well as any other games in general. But that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps me grow my channel. I'm gonna drop all my Spider-Man gameplay today and tomorrow as well. Love you guys. Thanks so much for the support lately. As always, it's your boy. Peace. We've been steady mobbed, yeah. Running routes we mobbed, yeah. In a whip we mobbed, yeah. Money straight up past, yeah. Talking shit gon' cost, yeah.